Hello everyone, this is Jeffrey G297 and welcome to the video. Um, I try to do a quick race with the palace at Tokyo and bought some upgrades, messed with the setup and came across that there's actually a bug setup for the car. Um, so anyway, I did try Tokyo. Uh, it did not work as I hoped it would. Instead of taking the lead or battling for the lead, I uh, mainly stayed P15, 16. Uh, the highest I could ever go was P13. But I will show you guys the setup for this new bugged glitch uh, setup for the new classic uh, Sheraton uh, Palace. Um, to get the car, it's still in, in the legendary car dealership, so I do recommend getting it. Um, with this setup, you actually can race the car. So here's the setup for the car. Uh, for this bug set to work, you have to have first medium racing tires, fully customable uh, suspension, and it doesn't matter if you change by height, all that stuff. Uh, you need the full customizable LSD, full con control computer, uh, racing transmission, uh, medium RPM, uh, the intercooler has to be set to none. If you do try to change it, you see it goes up. Um, everything that you see on the screen is what you need. And just to show you guys of how good the car is, I will show you a little bit of showcase the good wood race using the classic Masters cars. Uh, with the tires, we have a lot more grip compared to the rest of the field. So this car actually does feel very nice in the terms. Um, may not have the best straight line speed uh, for this division, but the handling and the acceleration for this car really makes it up for it. Um, as you can see that the car just really has that much more grip compared to the rest of the field and we're just easily catching up uh, with the rest of the field with the rest of the cars. I was just really, really interesting, really weird, strange, it's actually a bug set up for the palace car. It's real funny. Um, anyway, we're going to fast forward uh, to the point where we're actually battling for the lead. As we're going to move right here for B3. Uh, made a little minor mistake. Uh, either missed the gear or just for momentarily just got off the gas pedal. So we're going to get a little hit right there, but we still save it, um, but it doesn't matter because our car just handles a lot better compared to the rest of the field. It's just mind-blowing of how good this car is once you have the glitched uh, setup on this car. Uh, if this was not a glitch setup, the setup, my personal opinion, would be 598 to about 600. and. Fast forward now to the last lap as we lap the last place car. As we cross the finish line, about seven minutes was the time total for the car. Um, but sadly, there's really not a way to race this car in Tokyo. Um, but we still have the cool glitch set up for the car, which I'm really proud for. Um, hope you guys enjoy the race and the video. And hope you guys enjoy finding the special setup. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.